Welcome back everyone. I hope you're doing well today. So today we're taking a look at crime that is in the news. Ink Masters, which is a show that is on cable network about uh, tattoo artists who um, take on challenges and try to display their art in a, a positive manner. But Ink Stars Mas uh, from Ink Master star Daniel Silva has been arrested for murder in the death of YouTube creator and celebrity Corey Labrere. Ink Master star Daniel Silva has been arrested in the murder in, uh, in relation to the death of YouTuber Corey Labrere on Sunday. According to the Los Angeles Police Department's Valley Traffic Division, a 2020 McLaren 600 LT, which is a, an extremely expensive uh, sports car, was traveling at a high rate of speed when the driver lost control. The driver then ran off the road and collided with a stop sign and then a tree on the northeast corner of Houston Street and Carpenter Avenue. The LAPD press statement said the driver of the McLaren exited the vehicle and attempted to leave the scene but was stopped by citizens who came to render aid. No other vehicles were involved in the collision. That is sort of the truth and sort of not the truth. Four people came to the aid of the driver and the passenger in the vehicle. Three of the people said the driver got out of the vehicle, stumbled, fell, got back up, stumbled, fell, and was kind of walking around in a lost um, state of mind. The fourth individual on the scene, who was a retired EMT from the Los Angeles area, said it looked like the driver may have, and this is an exact quote, the driver may have actually been trying to leave the scene but he wasn't sure as he was paying more attention to the passenger in the vehicle. The news statement then went on to say, The Los Angeles Fire Department responded to the scene of the crash and both the driver and the passenger were transported to the local hospital. Police state that the passenger, 25-year-old male, succumbed to his injuries at the hospital. It is alleged that Silva was driving the, the driver of the vehicle while LeBray is believed to be the passenger. Silva is being held at the LAPD Valley Jail in Van Nuys on $200,000 bail, according to arrest records. The accident, which occurred Sunday, was also LeBray's uh, 25th birthday. His brother, Jared LeBray, shared the news in a message he posted on Instagram. Because that's the way we actually communicate now, is when something happy and something tragic happens in our lives, we jump on social media without thinking about how the news is going to affect not only family, but the friends and loved ones and those who were co-creators of you know, this individual on YouTube. Jump on Instagram, tell people exactly what's going on in your life up to the moment. This isn't something I thought I would ever have to sit here and type out for a long time or what I want to do right now, but everyone deserves to know. My brother Corey passed away last night in a car accident with his drunk friend driving, he wrote. This is the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. I don't know how I'm supposed to do do uh, with this without you. He continues, I miss you so uh, very much already. This isn't fair. Thank you for always being there and the best big brother I could ask for. I love you so effing much. Life's never going to be the same without you. Rest in peace. A rep for the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner's Office tells News associates that Labrere is scheduled to be examined on Tuesday, May 12th. So, YouTube creator, 
died in a tragic car accident. According to the LAPD, they have not released any uh, preliminary blood or road sobriety um, information that said that the star from Ink Stars was actually under the influence, but yet his brother posted on Instagram that his friend, his brother's friend who caused the accident was drunk. Do we know that for sure? No, we do not, since the LAPD has refused to answer any any questions about intoxicants or air drugs for either the passenger or the driver. What we do know at this point is Lebrer is dead. He did succumb to his, his injuries from the accident. His friend, who was the driver of the vehicle, most likely um, suffered a head injury and was in the hospital and was then eventually cleared that um, that nothing serious was uh, wrong with him other than he possibly had a concussion. He was then released to the jail. He was booked in on a two hundred thousand dollars bail, charged with murder, involuntary manslaughter, and that is where he sat because he did not have the money as of Sunday night to be able to bail out. He would need 10% of that in cash and then collateral to release him. Does he have the $200,000? Yes. He just wasn't able to come up with it right then and there. So, Lebrer's, uh, uh will be examined. It was originally supposed to happen Tuesday the, you know, the 12th, but they have put that off until today, the 13th. It's a tragic case. I followed a little bit of his work on YouTube. I've seen some of his videos, but I wasn't a huge fan of it. It's not my type of content. It's more aimed towards the, the younger crowd. So, it's tragic. Any way you shake it, it's tragic. There's two families here that are now going to be completely changed by this series of events. And the rest in peace. Thank you for joining me today.